They failed. You chose to be journalists, not doing very well. You know, um, you know, but it's like, you know, Enoch Powell, the right-wing politician in England, said all political careers end in failure. All generations fail, all. And the next lot pick it up, think, yeah, we're going to change it. Yeah, for a minute, then they fail too. Thanks. Um, I'm Mark Anderson with Washington Post, and I guess I want to, again, thank you for your tremendous inspirational example, but also ask um, how um, underground musicians, uh, maybe not the, the more popular ones that are represented here tonight, but underground musicians in the United States and Europe, how they helped inspire Pussy Riot in the first place, I think specifically of Riot Girl, but perhaps beyond. самым прямым посредственным образом, но также нас чем вдохновляет сама идея панк как музыки, которая доступна абсолютно каждому. И мы были ровно такими людьми, которые не умеют ни на чем играть, но очень хотят это делать и жрать можно громче. Желательно на каждой улице, и чтобы это мог услышать каждый человек, проходящий мир. Well, of course, Rag Girl is a direct inspiration, and punk music in general, uh, because it's uh, music. <coughs> music that's so accessible to anyone. We were like so many other people. We didn't really know how to play anything, but we just wanted to play and get our message across and do it as loudly as possible so that everybody would hear us. Нас очень вдохновлял такое течение, как Ой Панк. В частности, такая группа, как Angelic Upstarts. И их попытка выступления в тюрьме. Насколько я читала, им это даже удалось. And we were particularly inspired by the Oi Punk uh, movement and uh, Angelic uh, Upstart. Upstart, thank you. <laughs> and uh, their Ooh. attempt to uh, to play in jail, which I think they were actually able to do once by sneaking in some way. Please stand. I am Hannah Kukowska, Ford Policy Magazine. Following up on that, your art and activism has been so ingrained in counterculture. How do you feel being part of such a big pop cultural event? Я думаю, это вообще оскорбление за присутствующие здесь музыканты.